we're gonna jump into the inside of this bag really quick this is how much space you get in the inside which is very spacious it comes with a pocket here that's our granny y'all i didn't be came over here so many times and in and, and my, and my room used to be over there on, on the cone over there <laughs> There used to be my little space over there. I used to go over there and there used to be my little space. room. There was smoochy space. There was Tisha and space and D. And D. Yeah. doing this evening everybody doing all right i hope so candy poo is on her way to her granny's house y'all i'm gonna sit and chit chat with granny for a minute but before we jump all the way into this video i want to welcome all of my new subbies and i want to thank y'all for subscribing and just for checking out candy poo's life okay i hope y'all stick around and for those have already that been rocking with your girl, what's going on, babes? Y'all doing all right? I hope y'all are doing well. So I am just right up the road, y'all, from Granny's house. I think my mom over here. Is that my mama car? Yeah, child, my mom over here. She probably over here trying to get some. Trying to. Wait a minute. Yeah, she probably over here trying to get her box. But she's over here. My mama be over here early on Saturday. Her and Granny probably been with some well, though. I don't even know, child. Well, let me hear my little cell phone in here right quick, y'all. <sighs> it's hot, too, babies. It is hot. Who <laughs> y'all, I'm toting my green bag today. I got on my purple and green. Let y'all see a quick little outfit. Y'all see I got on my purple and white uh, Jordan ones. I haven't worn these shoes, y'all. Girl, this is my first time wearing them. And I got these shoes like two years ago. Girl, that tells y'all right there. Candy Poo got a lot of sneakers that's just sitting up that she ain't even rocking. Anyway, y'all. Ah! Let me see what granny is. Here go your box. Huh? <laughs> Come on, girl. Here go your box. Ah, oh, okay. You can put it in the car. The door open. Let me get Let me open. I ain't even going to get it on the, up. Put huh? it on the back seat, Mom. Mom said you eat crab salad. I'll taste it. It's good. <laughs> crab salad. But good. you know, I have a problem with shellfish, so I have to taste it. Anything like that, I have to see if it's gonna make my mouth start itching. <sighs> well, y'all, the maiden in granny living room. She the mood in the living room, y'all. Y'all know she was watching TV in her den, but she decided she wanted to be in here. <laughs> y'all, granny still got a lot of stuff in her living room, child. I'm gonna try to move the pillows around. Probably move these over to the side. So I can sit right here. Whew, my mom finna get ready to go, y'all. Yeah. I think Granny said she was cleaning up her house, trying to move some stuff around in her living room. Granny, you finna give some pillars away? She finna give some pillars away? Some toss pillars in the bag? <laughs> I see a bag of pillars right here. In the living room. Oh. Oh, that was on the couch. Oh, sitting down over there making this a room. Oh, okay. I'll put your other pillows over there. That's what y'all are doing, making some room. Yeah, <laughs> dog stuff in. Yeah. Oh, that's pinning them pillows. Yeah, they bad. <laughs> they 
thought you could get them. But they tie them up, so. Mm. Well, you be having the other dog in here, Granny. What's Katie? All right, Mama, I'm you be having Katie in here. You look like your tea that quick. Yeah. I just need to swallow. What you changing around in your house? I'm cleaning up. Do a lot of Mama numbers. <laughs> Stuff very well. But don't everything that cleaning around all, all my all that stuff. Oh, you talking about that type of cleaning? Cleaning. Yeah. Okay, she you clean dust and room, stuff. Move okay. The bed and put took all the mattresses off. And put the bed back. Back in the bed. Really back in the bed up. You know, back in the bed. Clean you the baseboards. Look at you. Want to do so bad? You put want me to turn my bed around. Uh, <laughs> Mom, you got to get Green, some of that stuff you out of there, honey. You know, where that stuff won't fall in my face. You talking about, oh, you talking about yeah, joking. Yeah, yeah. So where are you going to put the bed? You want to move it right quick? Oh, well, you can move it right quick. Oh, no. Is it, Green, you, you got the, you got the presentation. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, let me see. Green said, let me show you what I'm talking about. I like this little thing. She got a little point. Granny, no, she be doing some shopping, baby. She be at them doggone thrift store. Granny be picking up some stuff. Uh -oh. Granny, hold on, y'all. Well, Granny, I guess once you move some of your stuff, then you'll be able to move your yeah, bed I'm around. Get some of this stuff out of here and put it out, out of there. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Can you kind of love Mr. Miles? No. No, I, she, I, she I don't miss. Long enough, yeah. Nah, I don't miss a brand. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Let me stop playing. You know you miss yeah, that. Yeah, I miss her. You know I've been texting her already all day to tell her to send me some pictures. She ain't sent them yet. Oh. So maybe she. She's probably busy. She said she was gonna send me some, but she just oh, ain't sending me. Yet. She just ain't sending me. I told her, make sure you send me some pictures. Send you some. Yeah, you done bought something from Timu yet? Oh, no, nah, you know, I was collaborating with them. And, you know, they were sending out stuff, you know, stuff for me to review. I did, like, six videos already. Yeah, on TV? Showing everything I get from them. Yeah, I believe I did, like, six videos already. Oh, okay. Yep. You know what? They stuff pretty nice. Yeah, they got some real nice stuff in well, you. Well, and they it? got everything that you probably wouldn't even think that's on their site. It's on their site. I'm not get that site, but you can anybody out here. You just you just um uh, on your phone. You can download the app and you can buy stuff from from off the app too. Right. It's just called uh you go to your app store on your phone and you you uh type up Timmy. Mm -hmm. And then you sign up with it, and that's how you browse and stuff. But if you don't want to do, do that, you can do timu.com and browse their site like that too and shop. Oh. But yeah, I done did some videos tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on, I'm going to get some of those people on here. Then you get some real nice looking stuff. Mm-hmm. I got some nice stuff, too. I just ain't used all yeah, my you stuff. you stop packing because you're buying because you ain't going to have nowhere to put nothing in the mint. I already ain't got nowhere to put nothing, Granny. <laughs> Chia, I ain't got nowhere to put nothing. You in your new house, you're going to have everything you need. The way you Hopefully, I pray to God I have more space, especially for my shoes. And my bags and all that type That's of stuff. That's when you gotta be careful what kind of house you're gonna get. You have in mind, I gotta have a large house with large rooms, okay? Yeah, I'm still gonna have yeah. my little beauty space. <laughs> but that room probably gonna be my, where I put all my stuff in, like my shoes, my bags, and stuff like that. But you must, you need a room like that <laughs> if it's a big, big room. Big old bedroom, and big old but see, I'm still closet. gonna, but but I'm still gonna put my shoes in my master bedroom closet. But my other closet in my beauty room, I'm still gonna add stuff in there too. So it's like I'm gonna have two closets. So I should have enough space. Hmm. <laughs> no, you ain't gonna have enough space. I ain't gonna have enough space, Grant. No, Chad. <laughs> you need to find you. I got a lot of stuff, but I ain't house. got that it's much stuff. Room. Room. But you can just put all that stuff you shoes and wigs. And all that stuff. And yeah, that's gonna be room. my that's gonna be my beauty room. You just need a storeroom here. Yeah. A store? And, yeah, a storeroom <laughs> where you can store stuff. Mm -hmm. Just one. If you have an extra bedroom, you ain't using at all. Mm -hmm. That's probably kind of house you need to get, and make that a storage. <laughs> now, that's what Granny said, make that a storage. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. That's gonna be my beauty room, y'all. Yeah. 
Robert had all of my shoes, my bags, and all of that type of stuff. Yeah, take it on to him then. I still gotta have my extra clothes though for my okay, baby. my bedroom. Bye -bye. You a month ago, look here. Yeah, she just called me. He was at home, so she gonna take it on to him. Oh, okay. I wonder what he doing over there. I went over his house. He got a nice like house. house. So he, got a he got a real nice house, man. Oh, mm -hmm. That's good, Ken. Yeah, I went over there about was it three weeks ago? I'm so proud. I went over there about three weeks ago. He been there that long? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep, I went over there like three weeks ago and went over there and sat over there with him. And he showed me his house. He got a real nice real house. Nice. Big backyard with a built, you know how you had a, the built-in grill on the, uh -huh. on the brick? Yeah. He got two of those built-in on the brick. I mean, not the, the brick, the brick. Yeah, but but you know how when you walking in the back, like how smooch your house is, and you walking in the back and you got that area, and you got the grill and stuff on the side, and you can go back there in the little sheds, too. Yeah. That's how Nuki Backyard is. It's real big. He got three. Three bedrooms. But one of the rooms... When uric acid levels I say he got high, four because <laughs> he got an extra space in there where he said he's gonna make his office. Oh, oh, so no you can know you can just go in there and that's gonna be his little office space. But when you look on the other side, that's like a den. Simple, then he got a living room. Then he got three more bedrooms in the back. So, so I think he got like four rooms. He got a kitchen. Yeah, he got a kitchen. He's got a dining room. That's where I think he's making it. That's his office mm -hmm. instead of dining room. Yeah, because his kitchen's so big. Well, he can put a table in there. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, his kitchen nice. real big, but I think the way that they gonna have it set up is just them two. Okay. I think he gonna them too, right? mm, until Charlie and them come over. You know, I well, think they, they got their little extra room. Oh, okay. They yeah. Come to, they don't stay with them. They come to visit a lot, do mm -hmm. Okay. But he got a real nice house though. Well, that's nice. What part he in a better. He in a better um, area. What what area is that? Extra virgin he had, uh, is one of those healthy uh, properties and benefits mm -hmm. that delivers. Well, I'm not good. That's a blessing. Yeah, he got a nice little home. Him and Booney got a nice house. Yeah. She's got a nice house. Mm-hmm. Dee, she's living all right over there. She probably been down there somewhere. Doing that Dee. You know, I thought Dee didn't move. Tried to move by now. She ain't moved yet. Give her a little time. She probably be gone somewhere else. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. So now you got you got to really get in your head, you and Lewis. I did. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, you need I'm, some space. I'm planning on, planning on trying to get a five, Bedroom. like Booney. Oh, okay. But if I don't end up getting a five, we're gonna try to go with four bedrooms. Okay. Just only get what you can afford. Mm -hmm. Don't go over here now, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You don't yes, know how to do that, don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good thing. Whatever makes y'all happy, y'all come together on it. Y'all can do it. Yes, ma'am. Take time, take patience, and the main thing, it takes prayer. Yeah, prayer <laughs> and trust in the Lord. Yeah, because that changes things. When you pray and trust mm -hmm. in God, you can... And leave it God, alone. You may not be, he have your season coming in like he have everybody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you ain't got no babies no more. Sure don't, Granny. <laughs> Both of my kids grown. No. Yeah. They out the nest. <laughs> no, they be back now. Kids always come back in once in a while. They used to. Mm -hmm. now. They, they might well, Jamal, that. she ain't gone yet now. She just... I mean, she gonna she be out here, but, she but she'll be... She probably she probably go to now she probably go to college. She told me she she uh wants to stay on college. No, she wanted to, when she goes she wanted to stay like on the campus like mm -hmm. where Marquise like is going. Marquise. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if I do put her in there, I'm gonna let her um stay on the on the campus and stuff. And then when she want to come back home, she, she came home. Yeah, well, she have her room. Mm, I ain't gonna never get rid of her room now. No, till she get till she get till uh. She don't know, I don't really out there. Oh, uh, cause now. I'm I'm giving Marquis a room too, even though he grown. But when he come over but to you know when what? he comes to visit my house, he can just go in his room cause he still like to get on the game and have his own personal yeah. space. So I just uh, decided that well, you know, when he come to visit me, I wanted him to have his own I room too. In my head, uh, cause I got a roof over my head. Mm -hmm. my, 
All my true, all my family can come if they need to come. Mm -hmm. They know they know how to come and stay till they do better and they move on. If they have to come back, they come back. That's what mm -hmm. that's what I'd like to do. Man, I always mm -hmm. have an open door for my family. That's the way I feel about mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. Granny, you always been like that, Granny, even with your grandkids. Well, yeah. Because <laughs> all of us that came and yeah. lived, and I tell y'all, Granny let every one of her grandbabies in here. Y'all, she uh, let every one of us well, in here. Yeah, it don't matter yeah. how hard we went through some, Granny is going to give us a room. Yeah, going to give you somewhere to live. That's our Granny. That's <laughs> our Granny, y'all. I done been, came over here so many times, and, 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 my, and my room used to be over there on, on the cone over there. <laughs> That used to be my little space over there. I used to go over there and that, that used to be my little space. room. There was smoochy space. There was Tisha space and D. Yeah. All of us had the that same room. Over there. Mm hmm Yep. All of us had yeah. our own yeah. little room at Granny House. She <laughs> that room. He was my friend Anna Reed. She was down and down here, down, up there on that end too. Oh, Anna Reed, Miss, how she doing, Granny? She doing good. I ain't saw Miss Anna Reed in so long. Asked about y'all whenever I see her. Mm. Yeah. I miss old Anna. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't seen well, her in a long work. time. Yeah, he should be on the way back home now. Oh, oh. Yeah. Now, he ain't got to go back to another place again. Later on. <laughs> It'd be later on tonight. Yeah. Later on tonight. Yeah. At least he out there making a living, taking care of home, so. Mm -hmm. Both of y'all, y'all can do it now. <laughs> Louis be working, boy. Hey, y'all. So we're going to jump right into this quick review really quick. I know y'all are in the midst of me hanging out with Granny right now, child. But I had to quickly throw this in here. I'm a little bit late. But it's okay. So this video is in collaboration with windbags.ru, y'all. I got a cute little Louis Vuitton bag here. Let me go ahead and take all of this off. This is how it comes okay came with the Louis Vuitton dust bag it did come in a box but I had already unboxed it and stuff like that to waste you know a little time but I just want to let y'all know that um all of this paper and stuff that comes on the bag I be trying to leave it on the bag so y'all can see you know how everything comes packaged you know so you just won't be getting no bag without the paper and the plastic and stuff like that but anywho this is a cute little Louis Vuitton Lock Me Bucket Bag, y'all. And I wanted one of these in my collection. I think I have all of the other ones that I actually got already in my collection, which are the, the brown Louis Vuitton bucket bags, y'all, with the different color straps. I know I have one like this that I always display over here, which is my brown Louis Vuitton, I think, with the red straps. Yeah. But I wanted a black one. So, let me go ahead and take this strap out. I'm thinking this one here comes with two straps. Yeah, it does. So, we have this here. Let me go ahead and take this off. Okay, so I'm thinking, what in the world is this little strap for? <laughs> Y'all, listen, babes. I got to figure this thing out. So this is the other strap, y'all. This is actually the strap that goes here. And I can wear it as a shoulder bag. Um, I don't know if I can wear this as a crossbody, though. Maybe if I adjust the straps on it. Like, move these straps here. Because this is a double strap. And I believe I can make it. Well, or can I not? I don't know y'all I think I can make the strap longer but I'm not for sure okay yeah I see what's going on <laughs> y'all see how that you know just literally like went up so I'm thinking that I can make the strap a little longer if I wanted to just if I wanted to wear it like as a crossbody but y'all know Candy Poo don't always like to wear her bodies as no crossbody especially if the bag is like big so I'll just you know Hold it as a shoulder bag or a tote. I can't get this off. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get that off a little bit later. But y'all get the concept of the strap. This is how it looks. Okay. We're gonna jump into the inside of this bag really quick. This is how much space you get in the inside, which is very spacious. It comes with a pocket here, just right there on the side, y'all. Um, 
there's no pockets on the other side i'm so glad they already added the strap and stuff like that for me which is this part here because normally when you get in these bags child you have to do this yourself <laughs> You have to put the strap and stuff like that on here yourself. And don't look like it's closing. Child, you mean to tell me my bag ain't gonna close up? Or is, is this made wrong? Cause I know this bag ain't supposed to stay open like this. Child, maybe, maybe it gotta get a little old and the leather has to like loosen up some. And then maybe it'll like close. But as of now, as y'all can see, me doing this is keeping the bag open. So yeah, I don't I don't like that. I'm just being real. I don't like that. So now that I know that my bag on literally stay open, y'all, due to the strap. Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But this is like the little like pocket pouch, I guess, that they give you on the front. It almost looks like a little wallet <laughs> where you can just store stuff in here. Y'all see that? Just store, you know, anything you want in there. Let's close this back up. And that's how you close it up right there. I got to take this little plastic off too, y'all. But yeah, it does not have any feet or anything. I'm loving the leather on this though. It's not the real like smooth shiny leather y'all it's almost like a like a snake like skin leather i don't know if y'all can see it real good but i'm actually liking the leather on this one i do like the size i just hate that my bag is not closing y'all that's what i hate now this bag do comes in a lot of more other colors if y'all choose to grab this one and i'm do like loving the gold hardware as well now on the side y'all this bag is running 237 bucks which is not bad it's not bad due to the quality the quality is really nice i'm just having this one little slight con and that's not closing my bag up y'all that's the only thing but i'm gonna be right back y'all i'm gonna get all this plastic and stuff off of here put the strap on and i'm gonna be right back okay y'all and i added my my straps and stuff like that so i was actually wondering <laughs> where did this little strap go but i see it goes here y'all so i can you know tote this like a tote like i was saying or i can put this on my shoulder as well but it's gonna be a little tight you know for this uh little strap to be on my shoulder so i probably end up using this strap here for my shoulder okay let me try to lift my camera up some so y'all can see real quick so this is what it looks like y'all okay i was gonna put it on my shoulder for y'all but your girl y'all listen kid poo ain't really got on no clothes today so i ain't gonna put it on my shoulder <laughs> so i'm just like i'm just gonna hold it up for y'all like this so y'all can get a good concept now i did fix the strap y'all so my bag is now closing child it was this here let me bring this camera back down so this here it was stuck and it wasn't moving that's the reason why it wasn't closing but now that i got it to move it does close y'all see that so i think this is a cute little black you know louis vuitton little bag that you can tote to run your errands and stuff like that you can even wear this to church date night wherever you want to take this a little bag it's not too big that's the reason why i love these cute little bucket bags y'all because they're not real big and you know you can tote them anywhere <laughs> so yeah y'all let me know what y'all are thinking about this little cutie right here and um like i said they got this in many more other colors and i think they have them in different styles as well y'all so y'all don't really have to get the leather i think they have like fur and um all type of different styles y'all can get this bag in but yeah 
I will drop down the link down below to this bag, y'all. Everything y'all need to know in my description box. We finna head back over here to the other side and kick it with Granny for a minute, y'all. So y'all just keep on watching, babes. Okay? Take Mac on everything so expensive. Yeah, everything still high. I just stopped talking about it, Grant. All you talking oh, about some prices no more. I just say for you. Don't think you if I can buy it, thank mm -hmm. you, Lord. If I can't thank you because mm -hmm. she's still gonna make her way some kind of way. Yeah, I'd be looking at them prices. I just well, I ain't gonna stop about and fuss about it because it's gonna go up some more. I used to. I used to. every time I went to the grocery store, I'd be like, dog. I just come here last week. Just don't make no sense. I jumped up again. <laughs> I just don't Nobody even talk about it no more, child. Mm, mm, mm. Um, still got to go to the store. Stuff just, just, just. Ooh, they, they doing a lot of stealing. They're stealing cars and stuff, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're stealing all the time. Yeah, Grant, I be watching the news, man. The reason why I watch the news is so I can know what area to be in. And I have to watch my back too, so when I know what's going on in certain areas, I know not to go over there. So I stay to watch the news. Look at something going on in every area. Yep. They don't show it all now. But I just try to. I just try to. It's hidden behind the door till they really get caught. Mm, yeah, I just try to watch my back. Try to watch it back. Take the good Lord with me. what's going on around the surroundings. You know, I have to take you know, God. Years, years ago, I don't. you just get on out there and walk any time of day, any time of night, mm -hmm. by yourself, and wouldn't worry about nobody bothering you. Sure I remember that? you used to walk up this street, yeah. Granny, with your purse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You tell me. I, I remember that too. Like, Granny, don't don't walk up that street with your, your bag no more. There used to be some years ago, y'all, when Niffy's was, See, was a little better. Yeah, long green, a long green. Uh -huh. And so I just walk on over there to, to the shopping center over there where Rose is at. Then I come on down and get through and walk on down. I know Dina them got on your tail. Boy, <laughs> Tisha them got on your tail too. Yeah, I was a little girl. I was just, I wasn't Ooh. old at all. And, and I used to wonder what Dina was talking about. <laughs> they used to get on green. <laughs> Walking up the street with her purse, y'all. Well, no, nah, Granny, you don't never I, need to do that, child. I had my purse with me. <laughs> if Shannon with me, she grabbed the purse and hold it. If the Donna when the Donna take the purse and hold mm, it, cause they'll snatch your they'll snatch your purse out yeah. the bag and it keep on walking. You just need to leave your purse. You don't need to tote that big old purse. You ain't got nothing to tote it for. <laughs> yeah, Grant, you need a, a little a little crossbody thing. They'll snatch it off and yeah, they don't care. Not necessarily. They'll they'll be quick to grab some out your hand then, cause you know they try to snatch something off your neck. They gonna take the, you and the bag. So they ain't too quick to take nothing off, like no crossbody and stuff. Yeah. They ain't too quick to steal that, but not from my experience. I ain't experienced nothing like this. But I have mm -hmm. saw women that leave their bags just in the in the basket while they, they looking did. off somewhere. They, they did no folks, like that no one folks time. been a took she your shopped, bag and she was in a grocery store and she got shot and she go around with no bag. Her, they stole her purse. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yes. Yeah, I've seen I've seen some stuff like that too. Yeah. That's why I. But I used to tell Shannon, you know, I don't right. take no big bags, Grand. Now while I'm like, shopping, I'm gonna put the purse and stuff in mm -mm. Shannon. And then the trunk, I said, Shannon, if they steal your car, they still got everything you got. So you all your stuff in the trunk of your car. She put up. You know, she just put a bag in the oh, trunk. Oh, okay. And if there's somebody steal her car, they still got everything she got. Cause you know they're gonna break in the trunk. Mm-hmm. But yeah, nowadays. I try to yeah, I, guess I try not to tow no big bag. Them. Not while I'm going shopping or to the grocery store. I just towed it, you know, when I'm with Louis somewhere. But when I'm by myself, I got to have a crossbody or something. Now, that's when I'm shopping. Okay. Now, today, since I'm at your house, I can tote my little bags or whatever. Because I know I ain't going to go no store. Okay. But when I'm going, doing my little rounds and stuff, I got to have a crossbody on. Mm-hmm. I ain't with all them big, them big purses. Not by myself, all child. All these things like that. <laughs> it's so dangerous out there. And if they grab it, the bag, and you should hold it because you'll get hurt. You might as well just turn it loose. Mm, it's rough out there. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But you know, Cameron, it could be worse, too. It's probably going to get worse before we get better. Yeah, we just got to keep praying. That's all. Keep praying, asking the Lord to be with yeah, us. Yeah, you stay at home all the time. Yeah, well, just we got
She always said about somebody kicking the door and just got some man. I tell you, it's just bad. You can't stay in your house safe. You can't go to the south <laughs> safe. That's as long as you got the help us down here. Yeah, this is we living in a in, in a evil place. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. But, you know, it's really not the place; it's the people doing the stuff. Here. Yeah, it's it's the people, the, people, the people that's people making the place. Stuff. He got, he got terrible. Fixed like bus. Mm-hmm. He got the trees, all this stuff good for us. Everything he made was made for good, right? Right. And now what the people doing? They messing they tan, it up. Just tan, doing what they want to do. Messing now. it up, mm-hmm. damaging it, and doing yeah, all type of stuff. Here. But there's some good mm-hmm. people out there. Some of these people we don't regret a lot of this stuff we have done. Mm-hmm. And it starts in the home. First, I don't know what the parents are teaching their children. But the things have changed so much good now. Lord and Jesus. But what kids get away with now, is in my age, and no, oh, no, you could even say the word lie. Y'all couldn't either. The word lie. Yeah, we could say call lie. That no, no, you cussing. That was back back then. In my time. In your time. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mom, they no. stay using that word you in their grand. That's all they said now. They wrote Stop the lying. Word. Or something like that. <laughs> Just, you a liar and all that. I they don't use that lying word you know, now. My grandma, you been getting up on the other side. <laughs> I sure wish we can go all the way back in your time, Lydia. Especially with trying to have better behavior and more respect and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Because kids now, but the kids don't have nothing to do with flesh that thing, whatever they're doing. They, they don't even play outside no more. No, it starts with the parents, though. What, your par- what y'all house parents house. doing? Oh, listen, I, I hear the parents is, is right along with the children, but, man. Yeah, but the parents, are, I, know, I, know, I know children need nice things and be accustomed to nice things. That's what it's all about. God put stuff here for us to enjoy and be blessed with. But there's a limit to how you do it. And when you do it, teach why you're doing it. Because they just took all these young people out. And adults the same way. No, they, they, the parents are actually, like if they out here... They son or something out here robbing a uh, car, jacking a, a car, trying to steal somebody's car. The daddy right along with him. Oh, no. Make sure you make we'll, we'll make we'll make we'll make sure you get everything in the car. You know, like that type of stuff. That's oh, what's going on. That's what's going on now. Uh huh. That's oh, what's no. going on in this generation. They don't parents are on the kids side instead of teaching them and bringing them upright and trying to show them righteousness. But then you they doing the them, opposite. <laughs> And you think about the I parents, said, Lord, how have mercy. they brought up? See, that's it. Goes mm-hmm. keep going back mm-hmm. from generation. It's a generation, generation that needs thing. to be cursed. It's just just going that's back. That's all. It's going to have their generation talk them. Ooh, then you go back to the other. How that generation talk them? So it just don't. This life, mm-hmm. period. Mm-hmm. A sad, sad case, well, though. When they up. end up and their children gone and but dead, then they what, gonna. But we need to wake up and think about how precious life really is. I know that's real. Yeah. And stop taking that's so real. much for granted. Mm-hmm. I know my eye was blinking on my birthday. My my uh, left eye mm-hmm. was blinking so bad. Grant, I always have. Uh-oh. Why? Your nerves in your eye? No, that'll let me know somebody finna die. Every mm-hmm. time my eyes get the blinking and stuff like that, it didn't happen to me so many times. I know God is trying to let me know that somebody finna die somewhere. It didn't happen to me so many times. And I have a little Louis. And I said, Louis, my eye blinking. My eye constantly blinking. The first time my eye was blinking. It was blinking real bad. Uh, one of Louis' uncles died. And I and, and that's when he came and told me. I had another another one of my eyes just was blinking real bad. And it'd be sometimes it'd be my left eye just constantly just blinking, 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 blinking. Oh, okay. Then that's when, I, that's when I found out, I think... Kirk Franklin's grandmother, somebody, she passed away. Mm-hmm. Now, May 31st, my eye was blinking so bad, and I kept saying to myself, oh, Lord, somebody must have passed away. Then today, I just found out that it was one of the the young guys that be on the TV show, his wife. Ooh. She just she died on my birthday. Had three beautiful kids. Oh. It was her. That's the one that just died, and my eye was blinking. I said, "Oh Lord, here goes somebody else from the pass away." So when mm-hmm. I turn, I looks on my phone. All I see is this young lady mm-hmm. on my phone. It's just, she didn't die. She didn't. She didn't die. Was she sick? No, she died from uh, said said a surgeon. 
she went and tried to have some plastic surgery or something oh, like that. Oh, shit. I saw and that. she went to the wrong person, I guess. No, she sat in her butt, whatever it was giving her. I saw that. And, and uh, she was allergic to something. When it just did that to her. She had some A lot of times we might need to be doing all this stuff, piercing and adding on and taking away and all that stuff. I mm -hmm. think the young man, his name, what's his name, y'all? Young D.C., his name, Young D.C., his wife passed away. Mm -hmm. She had some beautiful kids. And when I saw that this morning, I said, so this must be, now my eye, he ain't blinking no more. Well, I always he ain't blinking, blinking no more. I mean, when my eye, I was running. Well, I ain't interested in signs said, that much like that. I never was. I wasn't kind of ready to go with signs. Not them kind of signs. Cause you know how people used to say, don't walk up on the ladder, don't let a black cat cross the uh, path and all that stuff. And mm -hmm. I wasn't into that, but I heard a lot of people, mama didn't bring me up with them kind of signs. Yeah, you know, every time my eye blinked, my eye was blinking when Bubba died. But you know, I didn't know it was nobody in my family. Oh, so it was blinking real, real bad. I just told Lou it was blinking. Then that's when you called, and, I mm -hmm. mean, uh, my mama called and said, Karen and Bubba gone. Mm -hmm. And that's how I know God be giving me you know, he dumb, has, dumb, God dumb. got a way of letting you know mm -hmm. things. And then let you know things happen to you, whether it's good or bad. Yeah. If you be still and listen. You ask God for, I ask God be, for discernment. He tell you to be still. But if, he, if you ask him for discernment, yeah. Then, I sure well, do. I ain't gonna ask him for that because I... I do. Uh, <laughs> I so ask God for discernment so I know but then, who... Then a lot of times you I'm around. Wrong, know. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it get like that because you be surprised that... that Wow. Yeah. So this person really, and that person really, because if you ask him for it, he's going to give it to you. There's always a reason mm -hmm. for whatever God's doing. So he has his yeah. own reason for who he take away and who he leave. That's right. If it's, yeah. a, if it's I don't care whose time it is, if it's time to go, ain't nothing you can do back. Nobody mm -hmm. else would just accept it if you can. But yeah. I don't know about all that yet. Oh, Kendra sent me a picture of me and her. <laughs> <laughs> she just sent that to me. Yeah. <laughs> I think you and Keith, all y'all be telling You see, you real busy. Well, we done got you older now, so got, things done changed. You see, you real busy. You ain't got time to do a lot of stuff with family when you wasn't doing nothing. So now you trying to get your life together. Mm -hmm. So you be busy. Kendra trying to get hers together. Kendra, Kendra just said she'd be tired a lot of time. I talked to her the other day. She said she'd be tired a lot of time. Working she and trying don't... to keep up with Jacob. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's a young boy. <laughs> that might keep you jumping, child. Yeah, she said That's she was tired all the time. So. And I mean, well, uh, I said, y'all going to do something. And I said, y'all, my breath is short. I said, what's going on? Then I, about your breath, Yeah, I just, oh, well, just old age people love on me. Yeah, look like something. Well, by the time you better sit, tick. But you don't want to tell a doctor all these things happen because they're going to put you on some other kind of pill or run some kind of other test or something. But I, being 83 years old, your breath going to get shot in again. Yeah, well, once in a while. Yeah. Well, Grant, you live a long time. Sure, yeah, I tell God. 83 you years too. old? That's a yeah, blessing that's to a still blessing. be here. That's <laughs> a blessing, child. It sure is. Dude, I'm still be here. Yeah. But Ken, how old are you now? What? 43. How big? No, it's Oh, y'all getting yes, old. Yes, Granny, I'm getting old, but still I looking young. I think I was look young. Yeah, all y'all doing. Because my mama showed I look like her age. She showed up. <laughs> she look like my, my mama look like my sister. Y'all like just. Smooch is still look young, too. Junk won't get lost so much. Well, he really hate that. I said, Junk, it may be for the good. You know, behind this operation on the knees and that medication. Mm. The pain pills they had him on just kind of messed his stomach up. Now he don't have an appetite to eat. Is there something wrong with his gallbladder? No, no. The doctors even gave him tests and stuff like that and they couldn't find nothing wrong. Oh. All he got to do probably is get his appetite back where he can eat. Mm. Like, you know, eat like he used to. Because I know I can't really eat like that no more. Not that I ain't got no. You eat, you got an appetite to eat. Yeah, I can still eat, but I just can't eat certain things that'll bother me because I ain't got no gallbladder. Yeah, so it'll bother you me. Maybe you shouldn't have got that took out. Well, I couldn't. Did not. Now in this case, I had to get it took out because I had too many gallstones. See, mm -hmm. that's when you have to do something. But when you have an option or a second opinion, you didn't have, they told you you didn't have an option. Mm -mm. 
And I, I had two. Me. To. I just had my one PCP doctor. Then you they did me. Like, you didn't get a second opinion from nobody. Mm mm. No, when she did that, when she, time, when she did that ultrasound on me and she showed me all them gallstones and told me the reason why I was in so much pain every time I used to stay going to the doctor, yeah. all Sometimes the time. Always and she said, "Well, ma'am," she said, "Well, ma'am, your best out is to get your uh, gallbladder removed because you don't. It's gonna start getting cancerous." Mm-hmm. And I said, "Well, I'll have I have to go that. ahead and get it removed." Yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. And that's when I knew I didn't have a, a option. Because I ain't want to have cancer just because I want to keep the gallbladder. But I'm still alive. I'm okay. I'm blessed. It's just that it's certain things that I can't eat. I have to do it in moderation. Which and I sometimes can. God just allowed me to. Sometimes. You sometimes been eating in moderation in the first place. <laughs> no, Greg, when I had a gallbladder child, I was to eat, 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 eat. That's what I'm talking eat. about. We, we supposed to be eating in moderation a long time ago. But we wasn't mm-hmm. doing it. We just eat. I wasn't doing it. When I was hungry, boy, I was just eating. I was literally eating. I was that was show chubby than what I am today. But look, I always, I always had a pretty good appetite. Except Donna. Donna never had a you know, big appetite. But Smoochie, she always been small. She, she never had a big old appetite either. You know? But what she did, well, I ain't, well, I don't well, even think was I, was born, I wasn't born no, yet when, when she, she was, was pregnant, pregnant with these, so I wouldn't know. There wasn't nothing prowling around about it, but her tummy, she wasn't all that big then. Mm. She was just small. She smelled bony, too. Smell like a dad. Mm. Yeah. But she probably not. My auntie was like that, Ken. Skinny auntie was so skinny. And then got old and got fat. You talking about auntie in St. Louis? Yeah. Oh, okay. But she, she was real small. But when she got up in age, auntie had her dead, got big, a bum bum, a hip, I said, dog, auntie, you ain't gave some. I ain't saw auntie in a long no, time. No, she's dead, not Ken. She's dead. a long time. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Cause I think the last time we all girl. seen her was was our family reunion, and we had that some years ago. And I haven't seen her. Then. They still stay in St. Louis on the ground. Yeah, the rest of her family. The children do. Oh, okay. They still in St. Louis. St. Louis, yeah. Yo, I'm taking to move back here now. See her. Oh really? Mm-hmm. See her finna come back to me. If I were her, I wouldn't come back. <laughs> She well, if she want to come here. back, she can. She she want to come back. Oh, uh, what? How Kanisha doing? She says Kanisha kind of got the, you know, health problems. She doing pretty good. She coming? To, she coming to Memphis too? No, Kanisha not coming. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I ain't seen Kanisha in a while. Mm-hmm. She got some kids, great. Oh, yeah. She got one daughter, I think. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 She still looks good. Like her dad. Yeah, she she bow leg just mm-hmm. like her dad. She just like her dad. I don't think she just bright. <laughs> to one of them, like uh, her dad and her auntie, and sister. No, no, of course not. I mean, yeah. not like specifically. That's my kid doing. He doing all right. I talked to him the other day. He was telling me about my birthday gift. You didn't get it. Yeah, I got it now. He uh sent me an altar card. So I can go up in there. He always give me an altar card so I can go in the altar store and give me some some makeup or something from out of there. Lip gloss, <laughs> nails, whatever I want to get from out of there. So you got to go shopping now. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's nice. He coming home for tomorrow's graduation? Uh, I have no idea, Grant. I know he told me he's going to try to come since he uh working. He working. Oh, so I don't know if he's going to be able to, but... I told him I was gonna call him on FaceTime and and uh just put the camera on so he can watch her go across the stage if he don't be able to make it. Oh, it's your birthday. After I talk to you. Mm-hmm. On, and YouTube. I'm on YouTube. That's what that can is. So I'm just having this thing just keep on going. That's what that can is lose. <laughs> That's how you ride the horse. <laughs> oh, I would ride the horse. Grand the horse was fun, child. The yeah, horse was yeah, real fun. Cool. Are you going up a hill or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to hold that little saddle thing while going up the hill. Cause... I saw y'all, you know, and y'all went out for dinner. Thank you, you know, man. man. But I think you should have woke something else to the horse thing. Did you get dirty? Because I, I said, Candy got on that white. Mm-hmm. And on that horse. Louis' pants got dirty. My shoes just got dirty. Oh, okay. Mm, I had to go home and wash. real cute. 
If I can go do me some horse ride again, I will. I have to wait till the sun go down a little bit though. It'll be real. It'll be even peaceful and pleasant because it'll be like a little, a little cool, breeze, cool like, breeze, yeah, and you just yeah. walking around a little trail. And then you had a calm horse too. Mm. Yeah. Lewis said his horse was being bad. <laughs> <laughs> he said his horse kept trying to stop eat grass and trying to go that way when he trying to take it that way. <laughs> I said, I said, that well, I had a, Lewis horse too. Mm, oh. I had a, I had a decent little horse. Her name was Dolly. She's pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. she, she wasn't being too bad. She was, she was cooperating a little bit. She wanted to eat some grass too. Mm. <laughs> but I had to tell her, I had to tell her go because if you say stop, she'll just stop completely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She'll oh. just stop completely. So I had to say go. Oh, okay. I think Lewis told his horse to stop and. It just made a complete stop, and he was far, far back from me. <laughs> then he had to catch up. <laughs> but Lou's little horse was a little lazy. How's mom doing, Katie? She doing pretty good. I talked to her yesterday. That's she doing good. pretty good. How's dad doing? He say his dad is doing real. He just losing a lot of weight and stuff. Oh, really? But he doing pretty good. Dropping a lot of pounds and stuff. Maybe it make, make him feel better. He been sick as... I have no idea, Granny. I just know he said, uh, Lewis told me he's losing a lot of weight. Oh. Oh, I don't even know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I looked at a lot of movies, scary movies. So, you still be watching your scary movies, Granny? Okay. <laughs> you don't be scared I mean, I about your 70s house. Yesterday I watched a movie all day when I came home. You be on, you be on, be scared, Granny? By yourself watching scary movies. You don't be hearing stuff. No, <laughs> By yourself. Let me tell you, can I, when I went to work? Oh, I can't yesterday. do that. Friday, right. okay. I was in the Swiss side. I don't know about that, but me. And I was cleaning up and going, I kept hearing something like walking. I said, no. You keep hearing something walking? Yeah, and I said, no, ain't nobody here but me. <laughs> and I kept on hearing. After a while, I heard it again. I said, well, it's just about time for Lynn come get me. And I <laughs> Like somebody was in the house, woman, but I know it wasn't. But you know how old house houses is, get them sounds and things. Mm -hmm. I was in there by myself. I said, no, I don't know what that is. It's about time we go home. <laughs> I remember Miss Woodside. She still, how's she doing, Granny? She's doing good. Oh, okay. Woodside, doing good. They in Ireland. Oh. That's her birthday present. Oh, her birthday, wow. So she wanted to go to Ireland. Mm, I think that's yeah. a nice adventure. Yeah, man. They still yeah. stay in the same house. Yeah, oh, that, not that big white house. The other oh. down in the central. Mm. Mm. Okay. You're doing mm. nice. Man. I sure remember them. I've been with them people 42 years. That's a long time. Yeah. 42 years? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's a very long time. <laughs> No, can't you get on the job? I guess you might as well stay there. Mm -hmm. Until you retire. Yeah, sure. I bet that, that was good. You should have told me. I could have I could've tasted good. it. <laughs> Grace said she made her a lemon cobbler, y'all. Yeah, it tastes good. They said it was good. So did you cut the lemons up and put them in no, there instead I of the peaches? Them with filling. Oh, and you put Just made put, some crust you on You know it. how you make the, the quick dough? Mm hmm And you have your butter melted in your bowl and your you know, you pan what you're going to cook it in, stick of oh, butter. Okay. And then you got you a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, a cup of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla. You stir that mm. stuff up together. Okay. Don't, then pour it on top of your butter once it's melted. Mm. Then you open your can of lemon pie filling and put it over there. Just drop it with the spoon. Drops all in it everywhere. Oh. And put it in the oven. And then when you when you come out the bridge and rolls to the top, mm -hmm. be golden brown. Be real good. It was good. It last no time. Mm, that's that's why I do my fast peach cobbler instead of rolling out the dough and all that. Oh, I bet that yeah, was good. It's good. Tastes good. Mm, I ain't never heard of no lemon cobbler. I think they didn't did a uh I think somebody what I see on the YouTube, somebody did. I think they did a um you can make a little bit, huh? Cobbler, most of any kind of fruit, sweet potatoes. A peach, a peach cobbler, uh, something some lady made. With a peach dump cake, peach cobbler thing. Sometimes they do that, make those dump cakes. It was some, Granny. It looked good, though. 
I was trying to I'm trying to remember what that lady. She it was something that had something to do with peach cobbler. Oh. Okay. And I can't remember. Mm mm. I see that lady, Chris. What's the, her name? Chris. Kristen Friends. She be make. She be whooping up some crazy meals, Granny. <laughs> but she's so funny. I bet they be good. <laughs> And that lady be tripping me out. She's a good transformation lady. That barber right there. Mm -hmm. She take that hair and put on the people's head and look like they natural hair. I mean, she had little bitty pieces. Oh, Mickey the Mickey the barber. Yeah. I used to watch her I too sometimes. Yeah, yeah I got not watch her. She really, really been doing a good job. So many people have been to YouTube. I mean, it's too much stuff. Timmy Hall. Yeah, that's going around the whole yeah, YouTube family. family. <laughs> the whole YouTube people got that. And they don't buy no little of No, a lot of these videos you see, Timmy just reached out to us because they paying us to do yeah. the videos. Uh -huh. Sometimes they get on this and I'm doing this on my own. Uh-huh, they done went and bought they some extra bought stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They may say the video not sponsored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all right, dear child. But y'all sure been doing some of that stuff, I can tell you that. <laughs> Hello, my brother. Timmy was popular right now, Ken. They show, yeah, because they show out doing Wish and all the rest with she in and and who else they got, got on some, here. But she in, you don't see that much you do Timmy. No, you she in. Like, I had a review for them before. Yeah. Mm, like was way, way back. They, I reviewed a lot of their clothes and stuff like that. They got some real nice clothes from Shein. Oh, yeah. Very nice quality. I got a lot of clothes from them. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. A whole lot of clothes. I think uh, Shein, they they uh, they got a lot of little gadgets and stuff on Shein, but a lot of people don't review their little gadgets. They go more for the clothes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But Timu, they got all these that. people reviewing clothes and little kitchen gadgets. They reviewing uh, wigs and everything. Uh huh, so wigs. Yeah, yeah. all kind of stuff on, on Timu. Things that you wouldn't think on Timu. You you, you do, do the little search by and so search it, and it pulls up, child. Right there. Candace brought me a while and sent me a while now. It was it was sweet, Graham. What you talking about? That water was so good. Mm. I should have told her to bring me one today. Mm -hmm. They done they redid our, all of it up the street. It looked nice in there. Yeah, I mean, it was just one of them when they first had, you know, opened up. I ain't been back. Fifteen minutes later. <laughs> I just can't do no okra grain. Mm mm. mm, -mm. Louis eat it though. He eat the fried yeah, kind. Yeah, he eat the fried oak. We know that there's a very strong I connection with vitamin fries. D. And oil. Well, I know you fat. can't eat no boiled okra. Mm mm. Jumbo used to eat it, but they don't talk about it so bad. Big sound, so nasty and bad. It turned his stomach and he couldn't eat it no more. Mm. He had it no more. So my life is it's just the sliminess that it gets me. Talk bad mm -mm. Damn about that. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. But when Lewis told me, because you know, I always thought that even when they fried the okra, I thought that when you bite into it, it still be slimy. No, and he, man. Lewis told me, no, baby, it don't be slimy. <laughs> I said, oh, because I used to think that. And that's the reason why I never tasted the fried kind. So I still never ate okra. I still well, never ate can, okra to this day. I just I just can't do no okra mm -hmm. right? in your head, child. You gotta get another mindset. That's just like pig feet. I just can't do it. Mm -mm. Well, you eat neck bones, you now I do feet. I do some liver with rice and I used to didn't like liver, but when you cook it, I'll eat it. Mm. And I don't know why, but Will you ever cook it? Uh uh. No, I ain't never made no liver in my life. I always ate it when you cooked it. Every so often, when you cook that with some rice, I'll take a little bit, a little piece of the liver and the rice and stuff like that. But I used to I always like to smother pork chops you would do with the biscuits and the rice. Oh, okay. I'll eat that all the time. Scrambled eggs with ramen noodles. But they ain't doing it. Mm -mm. I might not like that one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, you ain't gonna like this onion there, Ken. So you ain't gonna like it. Mm -mm. I don't eat nobody's onion. They had onion in my scrambled egg, Granddad. I was you doing sure it, bro. That, that I sa
candy get that? That shit ain't onion. They was at the no, they was at the broken egg restaurant. They put onion in my egg. No, I said I can't eat no onion in my when egg. You was a child. In that was house. that was only when I couldn't taste the grain. You must be talking about your spaghetti. Because that's the yeah, only way I ate it now. In my pork chop and gravy, the time I had gravy, I, I had eat onion. It. I eat it. I eat it. Well, Not the onion, can. though. I didn't ever eat the onion. Yeah, I would you eat the onion. I did. Onion. You sure did. Oh, well, I tell me something then, child. Then. You just didn't see it. <laughs> long as I don't taste it, it's all right with me. Cause what I used to eat your spaghetti all the time and used to have onion in it. But when I didn't taste it, I used to just go on eat it. the onion make you sick or you just don't like the taste? I just didn't like the crunchiness of it. Even when you used to put in your potato salad. But now I done got used to it. I can eat the, eat the onion in the potato salad now. For some reason, I can just eat it. I, I eat it now because I guess now... That the potatoes then, then over took over the onion, so when I'm the eating the potatoes, and all I don't taste the and all mm, that I don't taste the onion. Taste. It just give it an onion but flavor. See, you don't put a whole lot of onion in potato salad. Some people do, that, Graham. No, you don't want them. If you put a whole lot in there, that's gonna overpower. That you ain't gonna be good. good. <laughs> that's not gonna be potatoes. good. Mm mm. No, you can't put a whole lot of onion. I don't want a whole lot of onion. <laughs> no, I don't do that. Mm. I can eat I can eat your potato salad with onion in it though. I used to couldn't. Hey, My mama she back. don't she eat it like that in that grand or she she, she still sure don't want no onion in her. Every once in a while. Mm. She, she ain't gotta have that onion. She don't want no onion in it. I don't mind the onion naturally. It's just certain foods, I guess. Well it's, I guess it's certain ways. I just can't maybe. I can't but them folk had so much onion in them eggs. I oh, said uh, I said I can't well, see what's the name of it was, Ken? <laughs> Oh, Talking about the place they, we were at. What they call the plate? Yeah, egg and onion or onion and egg? No, I just asked them for some cheese, some scrambled cheese eggs. And the man brought me out the wrong eggs. He brought me some eggs. Well, somebody ever wanted the onion and eggs. Uh huh. Brought you the wrong one. Oh, that's what it was. Cause I don't eat onion in my scrambled eggs. Now I ain't never did that. Uh uh. I ain't never ate nothing like that, Ken. Mm mm. But them eggs, they was. They was okay. They weren't all that because they weren't the right cheese that I liked it anyway. I liked just yellow American cheese in my scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. They had some pepper jack like white cheese that's melted on the top. I ain't too much care for that. Not on my eggs. I ain't too much care for it like that. I eat it on certain things, mm -hmm. but not on my eggs. Mm -mm. You might not like cheese and eggs, man. Yeah, I like cheese and eggs. I just like the yellow cheese. American cheese mm -hmm. and spice. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that, like scrambled in my eggs. Yeah, That's I how I, I always like ate it. Too. Hey guys, it's yeah. Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Yeah. So today we have another. Yeah, my show. Hey, I didn't yeah, bring that blanket over here, Dan. Oh. I showed one to show you. <laughs> That was a nice blanket I got for my birthday. So I wanted to show my hand. I forgot the child. They home. I probably put it in my. I probably throw it on one, one of my chairs, one of my white chairs. I probably throw it on there and let it, you know, be seen. It's real. Well, you okay, your living room, so you get it. No. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just. I just gotta find somewhere I'm gonna put it. I'm just not gonna have it. See, I may not put it. I know it's not going in my living room because I'm gonna have new furniture in there. But I may have a den, and if I, uh -huh. and they can just sit on it, you know, because I don't want nobody just sitting on my nice living room furniture anyway. Not messing it, not messing it up, Granny. Because that's how we normally be. Like a lot of us, we sit in the living room, watch TV, we go in there and eat sometime. But in your living room where you want it nice. But like lounge in the I mean, we can sit in the living room some days, but I don't just want everybody just sitting there every day. Just going, we can go in the den and sit and watch TV and eat little snacks and stuff. But doing it in my living room where where I got like nice stuff, no. At that time, he had me over there. I told him, take me to see my grandma. 
And I told him what all that, and she told me that in front of him. And when she got through saying, he said, get up. I said, well, he said, let's go. I said, how do you say you can't get up to sit on? Your children got to sit on the floor. Don't ask me to bring your men on. No, oh, wow. I ain't been telling nobody to sit on the floor now. That was wrong. You can't sit on You got to sit on it. No, I ain't bringing no more. Wait a minute, Granny. Wait a minute. You said the dog can sit on it, but not the people. Oh, wow. Uh-uh. Now, I, I would have been ready to go, too. I said, I'm not bed one time like that. I'm not bad. You got that mm-hmm. right on the cone bed. Yet? Get her off my yeah, bed. I'm going to put my dog sitting with bed. Uh-uh. And uh-uh. 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 said, Mama, you going to not talk to say me like this. She said, like like come on, let's go. But and that come out of water. Don't never get nothing too good. Trust me, I will not do that. No, ma'am. Anybody else that's living like that, I feel sorry for them, man. You don't want nobody to tell you to miss them. That's all right. Yeah. But get to the point where I, 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 I. And mm-hmm. I sit there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, sit on the floor. Go in the other room. Sit down. Oh, no. no. Mm-hmm. Don't do it. Like, how you going to have time to enjoy it? Just coming in, look at it. Then, then, go back then in, that'll be a waste. Down. It'll be a waste of money. For you, for uh, you to buy the couch, but don't nobody never sit on it. That's a waste. That's a waste of money. In a way, you just gonna come decorate. That's gonna look at you. What good is it doing? That is a waste of money, child. That's a waste of money. That's a waste of money. That's really good for travel. Now you really need a new mindset when you get to the place where nobody touch you. And you know, people do got them them rooms like that, and they and you know, like the celebrities, they got all white, all white. Uh, I I think I've seen who I seen like that. I think I seen. T.I. and Tiny or something like that. They, they got a white living room. Mm-hmm. They don't want they don't want their kids and stuff in there playing and jumping all over their white furniture. But I think they sit in there from time to time. But when you just going in there getting stuff dirty now. You don't want nobody coming there messing up the strip on mm-hmm. That's understandable. If you can't come in my house and be decent with it on my room, it's, you know, you don't need to be in there. Right. I know one, somebody I worked for a while back they had a party. And somebody wasted a Whatever drink they were drinking on the floor. Mm-hmm. And the person that owned the house came to me and said, Well, we don't invite them in the house. I mean, except you don't come to nobody's house and just drink and just pour and stuff. What are you going to do then? Yeah. That's disrespectful. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Come to my house and do something like that. This house is not your. No. That's wrong. Yeah, there ain't no wrong with having nice stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, I said, just don't, don't get it so money. nice that uh-huh. you can't enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> And I guarantee you, I'm going to enjoy yeah, every I bit of my fun. I'm telling you, I'd be all over the house doing something everywhere up in here. Not for you naturally. You may not be famous like nobody no. else, but it's, it's mine. No, not for That's right. It's yours. And I was blessed with it, so I'm not going to tell anybody else to come out and say, snap. Oh, my God, that's a weird one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a weird one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like I'm talking about all the things I don't like. You know, like people sitting on your bed. I don't know what nobody's going to do. When you're not bad, I don't need to have lunch. Really you're bad, I don't need to be <laughs> I mean, that's personal stuff. Yeah, that's personal. Yeah. You, that's uh-huh. you know, that's if you don't want no bad sitting all over your bed when they enter your bedroom, that's that's okay. That's okay. okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
y'all. I had a good old conversation with my granny granny. Let me get myself on out of here. Let me see. Let me see. My brother uh called my mama. And my mama went over to his to his new house, y'all. I went over to my oldest brother house. He got a nice house, y'all. My oldest brother got a nice house. Ooh. I was gonna take y'all over there. But I was just like, nah, I'ma wait until my brother get, you know, situated and stuff like that. Wait until he get his stuff together in his place. Cause he had like just moved, y'all. <laughs> Probably about two weeks before I went over there. So he ain't just really got everything together, like everything together. Not like he won't. So I ain't wanna put his house on there like that. But he got a real nice house though. He do. Oh child, it is hot, hot, hot out here, baby. It is hot. Oh Lord. Anyway, y'all, I guess I'm gonna see y'all as soon as I get to the house. I'm gonna show y'all what Granny got me from the pantry. Well, actually, my auntie Smoochie, she goes to the pantry and she, you know, brings the food and stuff to Granny. Granny passes it, passes it. Is that a word? Passes it. I don't even think I'm saying it right, but she passes it on. <laughs> I hope I'm saying it right, y'all. Passes it on down to the family. Yeah. So, I'm going to let y'all see what I got in my box today. And, um, that's going to be it, y'all. That is going to be it. Whew. And guess what? I got a little clip, y'all, where I was actually, um, taping Lewis with the little thing on his nose. I finally caught him in the bed, y'all, to let y'all know that that little thing girl Lewis still be snoring he still be snoring and I I was looking I was just like so this thing really must it really must not work somebody said it didn't work I don't know who in my comment section said that that little uh no snoring thing didn't work but you know you got to test things out for yourself you can't always listen to everybody in your comment section so I tested it out again because I knew I was gonna come back and test it again as soon as I got Louisville in the bed. <laughs> Girl, I put that thing on his nose. He was snoring away, y'all. So it really didn't work, child. But I got a little clip. Let me insert it real quick for you. y'all got my box in here let me share with y'all real quick what's in this box oh all right i think granny got some stuff up here in this box child i'm looking like i ain't never tried these right here <laughs> these cereal are called kashi organic um honey toasted cereal y'all i got two boxes of these I'm gonna try these. Hmm. So I got two boxes. I got some stuff in this bag. In this bag. And this bag right here. And then I got a thing of lines. Hmm. 
I think I'm gonna make me some lemon lime water. <laughs> I'm gonna see what that tastes like. Okay, y'all, let's go in these bags real quick. So I can see what this stuff is. What is this right here? Y'all see this? Girl, granted, and put some in my box. Lord Jesus, that she I don't eat. Is this squash? Oh, yeah, granny. Granny, if you're watching my video, honey, I don't eat no squash. <laughs> granny probably. She probably be like, well, Candace will probably give it to somebody who she know they eat it. She right. Let me see what's in this in this uh, bag right here. This is some crab salad. I have to go, you know, taste this right here, y'all, because y'all know how I get to when I'm doing like anything shellfish. But um, my mama and them said it's this good though. Hmm. I just wonder what it tastes like. I got a lot of croissant rolls. Girl, Granny put me a lot of these things. I had a whole case of these things. This one didn't open up. It didn't pop open. Look at that, y'all. I'm gonna have to throw that in the garbage can. But I got all these, um, and this say air fryer ready. So I can put these in the air fryer. This one then popped open too. I'm gonna put this back in here since both of these have popped open. Okay, let's see what's in the next bag. Let me see if I can sit y'all right here for a minute. No, I ain't gonna sit y'all right there, girl. That camera probably fall. And I'm using my other camera this time, y'all. I was gonna use my white camera, but I have to go in there and figure it out because I turned it all out trying to use it. And I didn't see no uh I didn't see no pitch on. I said, oh, this one of these cameras, I'm gonna have to read the directions to. What is this right here? This is some um, fortified rice and bean casserole. Child. Granny, what you done sent me over here? I got three of these, y'all. Three of these. It's like a bean casserole in a bag. I guess you're supposed to cook it. Cook it on the stove or whatever and then bake it, I guess. I don't know, child. It may be a, like a skillet dish or something. I don't know, but I got three of them. Whew. So that's all I got, y'all. That's all I got today. I think everybody else got the same thing I got. But that's what Granny got for me, Jemiah, and Louisville. I'm finna get ready to get off of here, y'all. Them mosquitoes was tearing me up, y'all. They were just tearing your girl up. I ain't even, I wasn't even outside long. Girl, mosquitoes tore to my little arms up. Y'all like my phone case. <laughs> Jamaya got this for me for my birthday. She ordered me a phone case too, and it came in the mail. She was like, Mom, did you get your other gift? I said, what other gift? She said, uh, go to the mailbox. So girl, I went to the mailbox and she had got me another phone case. This is real cute. This is real cute. I like that. But anyways, child, I'm finna get ready to whoop up me something real quick. I don't know what it's finna be, but your girl finna eat. I'm finna hop in this tub and I'm finna watch me a couple of y'all videos. And that's gonna be it for Candy Poop. Yes. So... I guess I'm going to holler back at y'all a little later. I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with me and Granny, y'all. And uh, Candy Poof going to be out. All right? Love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Stay prayed up. Be safe and watch your backs. And know that God is all we got. Keep depending on them, girl. <laughs> Love y'all.